One of the significant advantages of XPS is its ability to see chemical state information within data. I've just zoomed in on a survey spectrum to the Carbon-1S peak and you can see that you have structure here and this structure reflects the chemistry within this material. If I display a higher resolution spectrum you can see the structure is even more pronounced. There are two peaks within this oxygen envelope and these two peaks correspond to two peaks within this carbon where you have a, a C double bond O and a C single bond O peak here. So we're going to create a peak model. So we'll begin by adding a region to the carbon 1S so we'll now create a set of peaks and there should be in theory four peaks beneath this envelope so let's create the first one and this is going to correspond to the CH type intensity I'll create a second one and that'll be related to the CC and then we'll use another one which will be related to the CO type intensity and then the fourth that is going to represent the C double bond O so I will enter a name that gives me an idea of what I believe these signals should relate to and similarly I've got a, a peak structure here which if I create a background and then create a pair of peaks just slim that down a bit and fit so this one here I believe this one to be the double bond with ox carbon so oxygen double bond with carbon and this one here should be the single bond and what we would like to do is display both of these as a table so if we go to report spec we can press the components and it will give us a table that gives us the atomic concentration this suggests that you should have a relationship here between different components here and it's actually turned out reasonably well but we can investigate this further by combining these data and seeing how well they, they relate uh, when we actually try and perform a peak fit based on both of these oxygen and carbon spectra. And I'll do that by bringing up the spectrum processing, the test data tab, and I'm going to merge irregular. So what I have to do is first of all display in a single tile the oxygen and the carbon for which I want to create a new VAMAS file containing these data and I want to merge them so I have a single VAMAS block that contains the spectra for both of these and now when I look at the components property page I've got all of these components that I previously set up and I can now test the relationships quite nicely so in column F I've got C1S C double bond O and in column A I have the oxygen corresponding to that so if I now go in here and let's see how the parameter relates if I type in F and press return I get a value and the value has turned out to be 2.5 and the other thing is that I need the the relationship between the single bond O which is in column E and the single bond O oxygen peak so if I now go in here and I type E and press return you can see how that relates now that's slightly different so the oxygen for the single bond is turning out to be different from the relationship for the oxygen to the carbon for the double bond and you need to have the same relationship for both of these because they are both signaled from oxygen and both signaled from carbon so what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust this one 
and I'm going to make them the same and then fit again and then I'm going to put up a a components table so that I can now see that I've got about the same double bonded of oxygen and carbon and similarly I've got about the same single bond so the only thing that might be slightly odd is the relationship that I have between I need to first of all zoom into the carbon so I can see what I want to see which is which one of these is the that's the CH and that's the CC type and the relationship is perhaps not quite as I'd expect for this material so I'm going to go in and that one I will enter D and press return and I believe that ought to be about 3 so if I say D star 3 and then I say fit again I will then find that I've got a relationship that shows me I've got an amount of single bond CC and the the components corresponding to the carbon and the oxygen are relating quite well now you can see that the, the single bond seems to be more intense than the double bond and in this particular material they ought to be about the same in principle but XPS is measuring them to be different and that's now a challenge to try and understand why that should be the case